know what? I think I kind of regret buying the iPhone XS Max. If I would have known then what I know now about the iPhone XR, I definitely would have bought the iPhone XR. And I'll tell you why. I have a deal for you guys. If you're stuck with Windows Home and you want to get Windows Pro, or you just want cheap office keys, gaming keys, or gift card vouchers, head on down to 09, look in the description for the links and a discount code to get even more of a discount. All right, champs, if you're new around here, come on. Get on the Woo train, subscribe. If you like these videos, you know what to do. Right, I tell you that, champs, I hope you're all doing well. So I'm just going to come out and say it. If you're buying an iPhone, I recommend you get the iPhone XR. Now, there are some caveats to that. I will address them later, but I just think it's a better phone overall. First of all, the price. I mean, it's a lot cheaper and people say 250 US cheaper. I would say it's more like 350 US cheaper because I think the people that bought the iPhone 6, 7 and 8 because of its size, they're not probably going to get an iPhone XR because it is a big phone. I like it. It's in between the plus size and the normal size iPhone and it just ends up being the perfect size actually. It really is. So it is significantly cheaper and what you're really missing I mean, all right, LCD versus OLED. I have no reservations with this display. It is friggin' fantastic. Again, if you come from iPhone 6, 7, 8, you're gonna love this display. It's better than all those displays. So just know, all right, the OLED is better, but it's still a fantastic display. Don't worry about it, trust me. Now, it does have slightly bigger bezels. You only notice that when you compare them side to side. It has a single camera. Okay, this is one point where the XS, yeah, is a better. Now, I personally like a zoom lens. I think you're already know if you need one or you like one if you do need one you have to go to the XS Max that's how it is and it's one thing I'd miss if I had the XR another thing I'd miss is 3D touch there's a few things that make me use the iPhone now as my primary phone number one is Apple Care okay there's nothing else like it for any other phone definitely in this country Australia I've been to the Samsung experience store said what's your you know do you have something like Apple Care they have some sort of insurance, but it's not the same. You can't just smash your phone, walk into the store, get it replaced. I don't even use a case on my phone. If I smash it, bad luck. I'll go to Apple, get it replaced, get it fixed whatever but the other thing that makes me use the iphone and like the iphone so much is the fluidity how connected you feel to that display it's so smooth silky smooth the touch sensitivity is 120 hertz not the display the sensitivity of the touch so it's registering your finger touch 120 times a second and it just feels better than other phones when you use an iphone and the haptic feedback is perfect android haptic feedback is a joke and if you do know an android phone that has a good one but i've never encountered an android phone that has good haptic feedback and some people turn that off but i guarantee you use an iphone you probably won't want to turn it off because it's so friggin good it adds to the experience it just feels super fluid super connected it just feels better than any other phone to use and i've said before it feels like using a mac trackpad it's that much better than your competition to actually use it it's just so nice and silky smooth but because the iphone xr has haptic feedback and not 3d touch it just loses a little bit of that connected feeling it just doesn't quite feel as good especially when i'm using the cursor on the keyboard it just doesn't feel right so it does lose a bit not having 3d touch that being said if you don't use 3d touch it's not going to matter and and still the haptic feedback is still better than anything else out there. Another thing from a tech spec sheet you miss is actually having 2x2 MIMO antennas instead of having 4x4 antenna on the XS. Now, will you notice, me being a tech head, I know that the 4x4 is going to be better. I'm going to get better reception. It's just better. Most people won't notice. But other than that, I love everything on the XR better. I like the aluminium better. Even though I know stainless steel is more premium, the color they put into the aluminium is awesome. The coral color on this is amazing. It is so fun it's vibrant every time i pull it out of my pocket i get a smile i love that color and while the iphone xs looks expensive like nothing compares to it for looking expensive it looks like high-end jewelry it's something you'd use if you were going to a formal black tie dinner it would suit like if you had a dress watch you had an expensive iphone and that and in those sort of situations the loud colors of the iphone xr would look sort of strange but that's the difference right one looks like beautiful high-end expensive jewelry one just looks like fun like fun 
vibrant, youthful, colourful. It is a bit more casual, maybe a bit more sporty, I'd say. Just that pop art look, it is a different aesthetic and I like it. I do like it. And everything else is the same. It's the same speed, the same camera apart from the zoom lens. And it's just a great phone. I like it. If I had the choice now, I'd definitely buy the XR. If you want to know more about the iPhone XS Max, I have reviewed that and there's a lot more in that review covering the actual specs and so on. But I just thought I'd put up this video because if I had the choice now, I'll get the XR and I'll get that coral color. Man, I'd love that. And I'm sort of a little bit regretting that the XS, you know, I can't return it. So anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you're new around here, come on, subscribe. And until next time, guys, tally ho.